Hey there, Cancer. Welcome to your reading for the week of March 14th. Uh, we're going to jump right in here, Cancer, and we are going to see uh, what is coming up for you at this time. Uh, this is going to be just a regular general reading, and there will be a love reading for this week in the pinned comment down below. So uh, I'm going to clarify in this reading. I'm also going to clarify in that reading. And uh, we're just going to see how it goes. So uh, this is just going to be your general reading for the week of the 14th. But uh, let's see uh, what we have going on for you. Uh, you have this Truth Be Told card coming up first. I do feel like there could be, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I, I mean, I feel like there could be some sort of uncomfortable truth coming up here where you have a, a difficult decision to make. Um, kind of interesting. I, I feel like some people have this <laughs> going on right now where it's like there might be some sort of truth. I feel like you're not the one that's, Maybe you're uncomfortable, you know, just intuitively, if I put myself into your shoes here uh, in this first row, it's like maybe you're uncomfortable making the decision. I don't think you're the one that is necessarily hurt by decision. This doesn't have to be love, by the way. This could be any situation. But I feel like you're allowing something to kind of come crumbling down here, um, Cancer, but it's the truth. So, you know, I kind of feel like you're living your own inner truth at this time. You have the uh, Tower, the Nine of Swords, and the Two of Pentacles. It's almost like you're making a difficult decision. Here's the thing about the Tower. is You have these two people jumping out of the Tower here. I'm going to show you over here so you can actually see it. But you have these two people that are jumping out of the Tower. It's like one person diving head first out of the Tower, right? The other person is like, oh my God, I can't believe this is happening. Even though there's smoke, there's fire. Like they just ignored the warnings. And it's almost like some of you could be, I feel either you're seeing the warning in something. Maybe you have a job and you're deciding to leave. And maybe your boss is like completely surprised that you're leaving. I have like a million stories going on here. Maybe it's a love situation that you're leaving. Maybe you just understand that it's not going anywhere. And the, and the other person it doesn't want you to leave, right? And so I kind of get those situations. Like I said, there's going to be uh, another reading for this week for love that'll be pinned below and we'll look into it. But, you know, I feel like it could be in any area of your life. I feel like it's been causing some anxiety. I feel like it's been causing some, you know, internal turmoil with the Nine of Swords. I almost feel like it's been holding you back. You know what the funny thing that I get here is for you, Cancer? <laughs> Once you start living your truth, I feel like you are going to feel so freed up. I feel like you are going to feel like a million tons has been lifted off your shoulders. I kid you not. And so I feel like for some of you, it's almost like that feeling of, you know, finally the release, finally living your truth. You're just going to feel so awake and alive. I feel like a lot of people, sometimes we keep ourselves stuck in doing things that we think we're supposed to do or we think we're, we have to do. You know, I've met so many people that have had jobs that they hated for years, for their whole entire life, and they think they have to do it. And the funny thing is, is like I've met so many people where they stay in these jobs or they keep doing the business or whatever that they hate doing, that they don't want to do, and they think they have to to make money. But it's like once they quit, it's like, boom, the whole world opens up and they find something that works like 10 times better, right? I kind of get that situation happening for you here, Cancer, where it's like you have a choice and I feel like you've been staying very busy, but maybe things have been lacking. I feel like this reading is definitely for you if things have been lacking. And what I mean by that is maybe you haven't been having any fun. Maybe you haven't been able to enjoy yourself or there's some sort of imbalance. I get this imbalanced energy here, but it's weird how it's popping into my head because it's popping into my head as like a clue and more like a symptom. You know, let's put it that way here, Cancer, where... If you've been experiencing the symptom of imbalance, it's kind of like saying, hey, move on to this new thing. We even have the first house card here in the next row. And this card says arrival. And the first house can just be the house of like, you know, starting something as well. So I kind of feel like you're starting something new with this card. I really like the way this card looks as well. Um, you have this deer on here with these antlers and kind of like the totem, you know, meaning of antlers is tuning in. You know, they kind of use those antlers as uh, they're to tune into their intuition and things like that. So I feel like you could be very tuned in at this time and you could be trusting your intuition. Something's waking you up here. Uh, you know, this reading is coming in very hot and heavy, Cancer, if you can't tell, but you have the star, the king of pentacles and the nine of wands. Something, I, I get like a feeling of being woken up here, Cancer. I get the feeling of some, like a shock to the system with this star card the star she is pouring water onto the land right here and the water onto the land it represents the fact that if something is possible for one person it's possible for you and sometimes i feel like the star can be us 
seeing something that blows our mind. <laughs> and then we're like, wait a minute, if they can do it, I can do it. You know, it always reminds me of like, I've, I've heard a bunch of stories where it's like someone's like idiot cousin starts a business, becomes a millionaire. And then they're like, wait a minute, uh, my cousin's an idiot. Like, ha- like if they can do it, I can do it. So then they go and do it, right? Um, I kind of feel that there could be like a little bit of a mind blower happening for you uh, this week where you see something as possible. It's like maybe you have a friend who you never thought would get married and they get married and then you're like, wait a minute, if it's possible for them, it's possible for me. It's like giving you permission to do something. You also have the King of Pentacles. I feel this is the change. It's like you don't want things to be the same. The King of Pentacles, I like the King of Pentacles, but... Sometimes I feel like he can be too much the same. I feel he's a card of con- uh, convention, which is like the way things have always been done. And I feel like this is what you are almost trying to break free from or trying to break loose from is this King of Pentacles energy. If we go like this, Tower, King of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, it's like you're literally trying to break yourself free. You're literally trying to remove yourself from a situation and have a new exciting situation, um, which we'll talk about in a minute. And you also have the Nine of Wands as well. Uh, I kind of like this because I feel it's saying that you have one little last bit of energy to go. <laughs> I feel like you have a little bit more energy in your life. I feel like you have a little bit more to give to uh, to situations in your life as well, like new business ideas, new projects, whatever it is you're working on. So it's like you're willing to put in the work. Uh, next, you have the Lizard Spirit. It says, dream the world into being. I love this card. I feel like if you can dream it, you can have it, Cancer, no matter what. So I would be using your powers of manifestation and I would dream big. I tell everybody right now with Neptune and Pisces, take your dream, multiply it by a thousand. And as I always say, are you gonna get the thousand X? No, probably not. But if you have a dream and you multiply it by a thousand and you only get times a hundred, still better than what you originally wanted, right? So I always say, you know, one of my favorite people of all time, Les Brown, says it's better to aim high and miss than it is to aim low and hit, right? So I feel for some of you, this is asking you to aim a little bit higher, um, you know, higher as far as your dreams, goals, or wishes are concerned. The start card to me, well, I'll say this, you have the Queen of Swords, the Page of Wands, and the Page of Pentacles, star Queen of Swords. Sometimes I feel like we have to go look for examples. Sometimes I feel like it's easier for us to do something if we see someone else who has done it, right? So if you want to do anything, I would start looking for examples. And again, you might find stories of people who are were much worse off than you are, who did something that you wanna do, and then it makes it possible, right? I almost see this reading as you putting in the work to make something possible for yourself. And you know what, I'm all for it. Like I don't care what people have to do to um, improve their lives or become successful or to transform whatever it is that you wanna do. I don't care what you have to do. Like if it works, it works, right? Plain and simple (laughs) is what I would say. So if you have to go look for examples of people who did something that you wanna do, then I would say uh, by all means, go do it because it'll prove it and it'll make it possible in your brain. The Page of Wands is like more adventure, wanting more adventure, wanting more fun. I feel like you're wanting to get out into the world and just wanting to explore with this energy. And with the Page of Pentacles, I feel like you're looking for something new. Uh, To be fair, I feel a lot of people are looking for this Page of Pentacles energy because it's just like more exciting. He's He's more willing to learn the Page of Pentacles. He's more like, he's looking for that fresh, exciting thing to learn about. King of Pentacles, maybe kind of has that energy of knowing it all, being like, oh, I know everything. (laughs) There's nothing more for me to learn, right? So the end of this reading has a much more kind of like dreamy, exciting, childlike energy, which I've really been liking lately. And I've been, you know, in most readings, I've been encouraging people to kind of like tap more into their inner child because, you know, I feel like that's where a lot of our answers are going to lie. But uh, we're gonna clarify through here. Uh, With the tower and the star, you have the star. Uh, The star always comes up after the tower and the tarot. We go tower, star. So um, the star can represent healing from a tower moment uh, here. But um, usually when I get a repeat card like this, I just say that, you know, the universe is basically saying, I meant what I said. (laughs) So I feel like you need to look for inspiration. With the nine of swords and the king of pentacles, you have the four of wands. Four of wands is a card of celebration. It's also a card of like a finish line and or reaching a finish line. So it's kind of like a card of accomplishment. And I do feel that there could be a little bit of like an accomplishment uh, coming in for you here. You could be accomplishing something great. Uh, With the two of pentacles and the nine of wands, you have the three of wands card of expansion. Again, I would take your wildest dreams. I would multiply them by a thousand because I feel like you might not get, like I said, you might not 
actually get the 1000x goal wish or dream but if it's a 100x that's better than nothing right so i feel like there could be a lot of expansion coming in for you there's a lot of this prove it energy with the star twice here in this reading. And it's like, sometimes I think we just need to prove to ourselves that we're capable of doing something. And I kind of get that energy for you here, Cancer. Um, anything that pushes you outside of a comfort zone, uh, anything that seems a little bit hard for you to do it, I, like I would encourage you to do it this week because it's like when you do it and then you prove you're, that you're capable of doing something that's like hard or difficult or challenging, it's like, then, then you're like, then what? You know, the, the world opens up to you when you do that because then you're like, what else can I do, right? And I, I kind of get that feeling here. And with the star and the queen of swords, you have the chariot. The chariot is a card of a victory and success. It is also your card. You're coming up in a very strong position here. This is a dope reading, Cancer. <laughs> That's Those are the best words I can say. You're clearly leaving something behind. Like I said, you're moving towards something new. Normally on the chariot, he has like the whole entire city behind him and he's moving towards something new. He's moving towards, you know, he doesn't really know actually the chariot driver because there are two sphinxes in front of him and the sphinxes represent mysteries. So he doesn't really know necessarily the direction he's going. He doesn't really know where he's going in life. He doesn't know where the wind is going to blow him, but he's kind of allowing the universe to guide him through inspiration with the star card. I think that's the hardest part of being alive right now is that things aren't exactly uh, black and white, even though like everything we see is very black and white in the media it makes everything black and white, right? And all that other stuff. So it's kind of like we have to do the opposite. I always think with the universe, the universe wants us to do the opposite of whatever is kind of going on in the world, right? And so what I mean by this is it's like maybe we think they're very kind of black and white uh, binary answers to the things that we're dealing with or doing or that we want to do. But the chariot is like, mm, like what if there's another way to live your life that doesn't look like what everybody else does right and the chariot wants you to do that but um you know part of that with the star is following inspirations like you could feel inspired to you know set up a, a tent in the middle of the desert and you know start your own farm uh making the desert green or something like that i don't know it could be some crazy idea neptune and pisces neptune and pisces is like you know the you know breeding unicorns back into existence if there was ever a time that was possible it would probably be right now but um what I would say here is that some of you could be moving more towards a crazy dream, uh, but I would do it because you'll be successful. Uh, with the King of Pentacles and the Page of Wands, you have the Hermit. Yep, Hermit is kind of like coming out of the darkness. That's how I feel for you. I really feel like you're just coming out of a dark period of time with the Hermit. I really don't, I'm not getting any of the, you know, typical Hermit stuff here. With the Nine of Wands in the, um, uh, page of pentacles you have the nine of swords nine of swords says get out of your head i feel like this is the only thing that can hold you back is your own limitations that you put upon yourself so i would definitely get out of your head with that nine of swords energy um top pro outcome you have the tower so tower twice again universe basically saying i meant what i said i wouldn't be afraid to leave a situation i wouldn't be afraid to uh tell your parents you're gonna leave college and you're gonna go move to the desert to make it green or you know whatever whatever your dream is cancer i wouldn't be afraid to do that yeah it could cause some tower moments but uh, the tower always gets rebuilt that's a whole part of, that's a whole point of the tower tower falls so they can rebuild it it's like you know part of the fool's journey we have to go through it so i would encourage you to just go for it uh, middle row, you have the Three of Swords. I would get out of your head here. I would avoid gossip as well. I'm getting the word gossip on the Three of Swords. I'm pretty sure in the March bonus readings, I can't remember, but I'm pretty sure <laughs> that there was something about needing to make sure, like avoid gossip and all you know, all that other stuff. So I'd make sure to do that. Uh, bottom row outcome, Page of Swords. There you go. Uh, Page of Swords is the card of the child. Uh, like I said, I feel it would be a good time for you to embrace your inner child. Um, like I said, I do get the feeling of that the tower and the three of swords could be a little sadness it's like i feel like you know that a situation isn't right and sometimes i think we can leave such we can be sad about leaving a situation that we know isn't right it's like we know it's not right we know it doesn't fit into our energy we know it's not for us and we can still be a little bit sad about leaving it that could cause a tower moment three of swords but we also know it's right and that's where i feel like you are it's actually a pretty good reading here cancer i like where it's going so thank you for being here and the uh, love reading for this week is pinned in the comments down below